We just took in this 2020 Winnebago Vita 24P. Guess what? It's got just over 12,000 miles. Let's go check it out. This Vita is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis with the V6 turbo diesel in it. It's got a single full body slide there on the driver's side. And what we're going to do, we're going to give it a full exterior and interior look, see what it has to offer, and see all the cool features that it has. So let's start up front on these Continental tires. We got a 215-85 R16s, and in terms of a date code, 4118. So they are original tires, which isn't super surprising. It's got a full body paint scheme on this coach. It only came in two different colors, but this is one of the options. Not bad, looks clean. You have a full body length coach. I think it was a, or a full body length awning. I think it was 15 foot. We'll double check on the inside. That's nice, it is electric with a little light there. 12.2 gallons on the propane tank. This is literally the only kind of compartment on the passenger side. Of course, some 110s, we got a satellite connection, standard water heater. I think it was just a basic six gallon it is. Should be gas and electric, we'll double check. Exhaust for the furnace right there. And honestly, that's it. That's all that's on the passenger side here. So moving our way on back, no storages on the rear. But well, we do have some water inlet or a black flush inlet right there. And then down below, of course, your hitch, seven pin connector, 5,000 pounds on this guy. And of course, we gotta go check out the roof, see what's going on up there. My gosh, those metal handles are hot. A couple solar panels up here, slide topper for your full body slide, single Coleman mock AC, and then your skylight and exhaust for the bathroom. There's the top of the awning. All right, back down to solid ground. Gear-driven slide, you can see it's a full body. It's one of those kind of angular slides. 30 amp power service right here. I got it plugged in for the AC. And we got a nice storage compartment right here with a control for the leveling system. I like the little shelved style storage. Big old storage bay. Behind this bay door, we do have your potable water, city water inlet, Zamp solar connection and another cable satellite. Now, we got two storages down below the slide, one up above. This one isn't as big as the one we just saw, but still nice to see. Wow, it's, you can't really see much of that with this sun in the way. I'm sorry about that. All right, so down below your storage is one real storage right there. It's not a pass through or anything, but gives you a little bit more space. And then a Cummins Onan 3200 generator. All right, that's pretty much the outside. Back up so you can see it from this side. We got this access in the way to the right of us, so it's a little tight. All right. Now it's got a lot of cool little details on here. Your running boards right here got the little Winnebago logo on them, which is cool. And you'll see like W's for the coat hangers inside. Well, let's jump on inside. One step that comes out right there. Then we got two other steps going up in. And this is what you see right when we walk in. All right. So let's start up front. Like I said, 12,068 miles. Look at this thing, this steering wheel. So you got your little controls stylus button thing there home cruise control settings the right side control your screen right there which is nice paddle shifters this is a pretty sweet little unit this is also push button start sorry about that ac getting in your way gps is on also on there then you got that little matting down below so if you track in dirt and grime it's easy to clean out right above us is your overhead bunk not positive on the capacity should be about 500 pounds there's a little bit of storage under there that you can get to so these guys are just like little pillows little cushions this right here is a shade for your windows you got two for the windows you can see a second one back there and then back in this closet I just saw it earlier you got the one for the windshield so that's super cool you can completely black out this thing up front in these areas all right next up we got your seats oh man i love this passenger seat so 
you know, I've talked about these seats a lot. They're all manual seats for the most part. This thing does have a little bit of power to it. Of course they twist. We do have the toppers, cushions, so you can elevate your butt a little bit so your knees aren't in your face. But let's get that out of the way. Let me show you some of the cool stuff with this chair. So the first thing that's neat, thigh extension. Pretty cool, thought it was a little unique. This twist is to angle this up or down. So we can twist that down or go left to go up. This is lumbar support. You can angle your lumbar up or down or have it come out more or less. This other handle is to literally lower the back end of this thing or lift it. And finally, that is of course your backrest control. So very, very cool. And then of course you got the little side arms that push down, lift up a couple notches, lock into place, wherever you want it. So. Very cool little cap, push button start, paddle shifter, awesome seats, I love it. Let's get on to the rest of this coach. So your slide out, right there, all the way down, right past there. If you've ever seen this floor plan before, you know what that bed does. Dinette is, I mean, it's a booth dinette. You could put two people sleeping in here. We do have a couple seat belts. Cushions are buttoned on, which is nice. A little bit of that overhead storage. Look at that, cooling down pretty good. There's your thermostat, 90 degrees in here. It was 99. Behind this cushion, I thought this was a little unique. Undo that, you got this extra cushion that's magnetically held. Got a little another storage compartment. Now, that storage is accessible from right there. But I thought that was still pretty cool. Not sure why they'd give you the access from behind the uh, cushion, but they did. All right, and then right above that, we do have some that you could use it as closet storage or you could use it as pantry storage. I think this is an electric only fridge. I'll double check and put it on screen, but I'm pretty sure it is. And then your queen bed. This queen bed does completely lift up and flip when the slides are in. A couple overhead storages, very similar to the others. Area to mount a TV in that top right corner smoke detector, ducted AC, all that fun stuff. Be right back, got a phone call. Sorry about that. All right, let's continue on here on the passenger side. So here's that little cute little coat hanger thing I was telling you about. I love all the W's here. Slide control, inverter control, level testers, water pump, gas, water pump. So it doesn't look like it has electric. I said that outside, it is just gas. Solar controller, generator start. I think it had, we're gonna find out here in a second if you bear with me, 35 hours on the gen set, phenomenal. And then we got your kitchen, which is a little different. My biggest complaint's that microwave location, but we'll get there. So we got drawer there. These should be a little bit deeper because they don't have anything in the way. And nice and solid, they feels good. Storage under, oh, that's separate under there. Mm. easy reading material in there so this is my kind of complaint is I don't like how low this microwave is it's kind of a pain to get to it is a convection though at least because there is no oven and we got your three burner suburban up top just to the right of that is some more storage pantry storage you can see a little closet hanging there too if you want look at all these they have all these cool little easy accesses to get some of the vents and wiring actual wardrobe and then the full-on storage that you get in the kitchen kind of wish these had latches down below too it'd feel a little bit more solid 32 inch tv right here we got some old-timey movies playing but there is also some storage behind the old-timey movies you can see all your connections for that tv look at that it's got a roof access port too which is nice so if you want to run some satellite you can all right, down below that, your sink, there's part, and there's the other half, and we do have an extension on that faucet. And like, I'm not sure, like spices, towels, something like that. All right, now last but not least in terms of uniqueness when it comes to this coach is this bathroom. So it took me kind of a little bit to figure out what the hell's going on, because this right side slides, and this left side kind of bends in it's very different so what happens is let me open that back up this corner piece has a magnetic piece that'll hold on right there and then you can latch this into place 
by just doing that little button, which I'm gonna freaking miss. Oh my gosh, I can't see it. There we go. And that will hold it. So it's got like a little kind of quarter panel that folds out to shut the <laughs> shut the bathroom. Little different, little unique. Here's your shower pan. And then it's got one of these, not my favorite style doors, only because the one time you accidentally mishold it, it's gonna just slam shut and make a whole bunch of noise. Over in the corner of here, we got a medicine cabinet, bazinga. And then down below, oh, of course, sink. A Little bit of storage down below that. Let me see if I could show you what the heck I'm talking about in this bathroom. So this door, it's a strong magnet. Oh, we gotta do this too. Oh boy, do you see what I mean? It's just a little awkward. It's not too bad when you're in here. You just kind of do that and slide her on down. Just a little bit different than what I'm used to. Let me latch that one more time. Bear with me here, guys. All right, let me get this slide in because I know that's what we got left to see. It's how much space we lose. Be right back. And here's the difference one slide makes. So standing right at the entry door, your control is right there for the slide. So let's walk back. Kitchen, honestly, not too bad. Completely open the fridge, it looks like, yeah. Obviously, bed's a little lost. Bathroom, no change. Go take a shower, go take a dump. Whatever you gotta do, you can still do it. And then up front, dinette's fine. You can still have somebody sit there, watch TV. You can actually still have your seat turned around too. Probably not smart while you're driving, but capable. All right. Let's see what the slide in and the awning in. Oh, we forgot to look at my printouts. All right, we're about to go right back inside. Zing. You guys thought you'd be able to get away with one of my videos without seeing our selling price. Okay, so this brochure is hysterical because it only has literally two pages. But here is our printout. 110 grand is what we're selling it for. Some of the basic specs. There's page one of the brochure. If you want to pause and read that. And then here's page two. <laughs> Not much going on. So very easy to actually highlight though. You can see some of your levels, tests, or lengths, levels, heights, things like that. Now, if you do have any questions on that, I'll put my contact info on the screen. You're welcome to reach out to me via text or email, and I will answer any questions you have. Not much of a change besides the awning there, but the driver's side should look a lot different. Won't be as tight walking through here. Yeah. Minus that power cord. You won't have that tail. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys viewing. Let me know if I can help out in any way. Have a great day. <laughs> have a great day. Have a great day.